southbound train speeds through the Huadong Valley, we pass Fuli and arrive in Taidong County, a place best known for its rice production. Behind the golden rice paddy stand magnificent mountains covered in lush forests. This vast area is the catchment of Qingshui River, Qingwulu River, and Luye River. The three major rivers and their branches originate respectively from Xinkang Mountain, Sancha Mountain, Xiangyang Mountain, Mount Guang, and Minor Mount Guang, which constitute a part of the Central Mountain Range. The Southern Cross Island Highway penetrates the area. Except for the tribes and cultivated land on both sides of the highway, there are barely any signs of civilization in the mountains. The Southern Cross Island Highway penetrates the area. Except for the tribes and cultivated land on both sides of the highway, there are barely any signs of civilization in the mountains. This part of the Central Mountain Range in Southeast Taiwan is quite remote Yet it preserves the most natural flora and fauna in Taiwan and is a wildlife paradise. To protect its fragile ecology, in 2000 the Council of Agriculture declared this area Guanshan Major Wildlife Habitat and extended the wildlife corridor in the Central Mountain Range. The Guanshan Wildlife Habitat covers an area of almost 70,000 hectares, about 254 times the size of a Taipei city. It stretches from the hills 400 meters above sea level on the valley edge to the highest mountain in southern Taiwan, Mount Guan, which measures 3,668 meters. With about 3,200 meters of height difference, the forest nourishes a rich biodiversity. Studies show that this area is home to 49 species of rare plants and 31 families. At dawn, while the entire Huadong Valley is still under the dark blue sky, the first ray of sunlight has reached the central mountain range. Starting from Mount Guan, as the sunlight slowly turns golden, the surrounding mountains also light up. Mountain hikers get up early, pack their bags and carry on their journeys. Sandbars leave the unshaded grassland and walk into the woods. Finally, the sunlight reaches every corner of the valley. Located in the southeast corner of Taiwan, every summer this area is often the first to be swept through when a typhoon hits Taiwan. Torrential rains fall on the steep hills, washing away the surface soil. The geologic formation makes the east side of the central mountain range vulnerable to retrogressive erosion. The spectacular Guanshan Cliff and Xiangyang Cliff are both the works of the Xinwulu River. In这个地方,它除了有霹雳,有石英脉,还有节理,这三个东西结合在一起,就会造成这边的石头异常的脆弱。就是富有霹雳的一个石头我们可以看到它上面有非常多的层里这些层里呢 Yet the west side of the central mountain range is a world full of flowers and trees. On the ridges of Mount Guan and Xiangyang Mountain are where alpine forests dwell. The Yushan single seed juniper thrives with its resistance against cold and strong gusts. Below the ridges, where the wind is not so strong, white firs grow in small clusters to fend off the wind and rain for each other. 
Down further at the slopes, the clusters merge and form a vast forest. Fir trees provide many hiding places for large sandbars and allow Formos and macaques to climb up and down to run away from enemies. A ferruginous flycatcher couple built a nest between the fir twigs. The male provides food to the female while she is hatching eggs. In the mountainous area, however, Yushan bamboo is the real dominant plant. Bamboo forests extend into the vast grassland. Although highland bamboos are mostly short, the bamboo forest sways like sea waves as the strong winds rattle through. On the lee side of the forests, they can grow up to three meters high. Bamboo leaves protect the soil from being washed away by heavy rainfall. It is also a major food source for sandbars in high altitude areas. Bamboos also provide shelters and nesting spaces for small animals. Two highland rats are playing under the bamboos and will feast on the delicious bamboo shoots when they are hungry. Under the cover of bamboo leaves, two Jehustin's bush robins are building a nest beside the hiking trail. The thick canopy of bamboos blocks most of the sunlight and the entangled roots leave little space for other plants to grow. Despite that, Taiwan alpine rhododendron and Taiwan pieris manage to survive and grow into small bushes. Sandbars like the taste of rhododendron, which is poisonous but only slightly. They don't eat pieris because its toxicity is just too strong. While many rhododendron bushes are munched off, pieris, on the contrary, thrives in the bamboo forest. This is a very interesting finding and deserves more close observation. In early May, Rhododendron is always the first to start the highland flower season. Tourists are attracted to the mountains to see rhododendron in full bloom. Other plants also strive for a place to blossom. In the rock cleavages, beside or even right on the hiking trails. Anywhere that is not shaded by the bamboos makes a perfect place for flowers to stretch out for the precious sunlight. As the temperature continues to go up, it is time for gentians, such as the Taiwan ladybell, Taiwan scabia sun, and Circium kawakami to blossom. The flowers are exposed to intense ultraviolet, and therefore the colors are mostly bright and vibrant. It is not until late September that the flower season comes to an end. And before the cycle starts again next year, the plants will just wait quietly on the mountains. When the color of nature turns brown, fruits are dangling everywhere on the trees. The night frost becomes thicker. We know that winter is close. this area is in the tropical zone, when a cold wave approaches, the mountaintops are often covered in snow. When the snow stops temporarily, birds will take the chance to fly around in search of food. Sometimes when a powerful cold wave strikes, the snow will cover the South Cross Island Highway all the way to Motian, turning the mountain into a silver world. 
A few monkeys pass the highway, leaving a long trail of footprints in the snow. But the snow soon disappears at sunrise, and so we can only see the silver-white Jiaoming Lake shortly after the sun breaks. Walking along the dry ditches around Jiaoming Lake. Before we notice it, water starts to trickle down and finally turns into small streams. The main vegetation also changes from white firs to Taiwan hemlocks. The texture of hemlock wood is coarse and therefore it is commercially less valuable. Most of the trees grow in high mountains making it difficult for logging. That's why large areas of hemlock woods in Taiwan remain intact in the moderate and high altitude mountains. As we continue to go downhill, we enter a mixed forest of needle and broad-leaved plants, many of which are of the Larissiae and Fagaceae families. Needle-leaved plants are replaced by Formosan cypress. The Formosan cypress is a valuable tree species that were excessively harvested between 1960 and 1970, causing many serious ecological problems. Forty years later, Many of the logging areas have been reclaimed by the forest. Interestingly, this area is also home to the largest walnut tree woods in Taiwan. Taiwanese walnut trees produce very small walnuts, which is not favored by people, but to the macaques it is such a great delicacy. The climate of the moderate altitude area is more pleasant. With abundant supply of water and very few human activities, this is where most large animals live. In addition to macaques and sandbars, there are also a lot of muntjacks. Only they are more elusive and therefore not so often seen in the woods. The Formosan Cerro is also a common animal in this area. They usually stay around the cliffs, so you don't get to see them with sandbars like this very often. The once disappeared animal, yellow-throated marten, have been found around the mountain huts again in recent years. If you are really lucky, you may even see a Formosan black bear. After the devastating rainfall of Typhoon Morakot, the section of Southern Cross Island Highway from Xiangyang to Meishanko has been blocked by landslide. The debris reunites the forests separated by the highway. Animals wandered across the destroyed highway and left piles of feces on the road as they passed. As we march down to the area 1,000 meters above sea level, the trickling streams merge into a fast-flowing river.
the temperature is much warmer, and evergreen broad-leaved trees dominate the riverbanks. Among them, the Taiwan date palms and sago palms have survived the Ice Age and are therefore considered two of the most amazing and precious plants in Taiwan. The Bunun people established two large tribes, Li Dao and Wu Lu, on the terrace alongside the Xin Wu Lu River. Most of the residents are farmers who cleared up forests to cultivate cabbages, capsicums, and tomatoes. In recent years, the government has devoted a lot of effort in wildlife conservation. On a rare occasion, you may see animals like munchaks wandering around the deserted cultivated land. But if you are interested in observing large wild animals in person, you'll just have to try your luck in the deep mountains and valleys. The most frequent visitors are mountain climbers who try to conquer the majestic summits or to see the beautiful pearl in the mountain, the Jiamin Lake. The Jiamin Lake is surrounded by high mountains down on the center of the grassland near Sanchao Mountain. The crystal clear water nourishes the vast surrounding highland bamboo forest. With no trees around, visitors can easily see the entire oval lake from nearby slopes. At dawn, the clouds and mist swarm up to the mountains. As the sun rises and radiates with golden light, the grass slopes beside the lake turn into a stage for light and shadows. As the sun moves, shadows hop onto the grass slopes beside the lake. When the sky is clear, the turquoise water turns into a mirror and reflects the serene sky, and occasionally passing clouds. When it is foggy, sheer mist descends upon the lake and flows in the wind, turning the lake into a mysterious maiden covered in a white veil. Rain or shine, the Jiaming Lake is always fascinating to mountain climbers with its versatile beauty. The sandbars come to the lakeside at sunset and will stay until the day breaks next morning. To cater to the needs of mountain climbers, the Taidong Forest District Office has included the hiking routes of Sanchao Mountain and Jiaoming Lake into the national trail systems. The entrance of the trail is in the Xiangyang National Forest Recreation Area. Two mountain huts powered by solar energy were built along the trail to provide shelters to mountain climbers. <laughs> To reduce the environmental impact of mountain climbing, the Taidong Forest District Office has been promoting the idea of trace-free hiking and hires managers to keep the mountain huts and surroundings clean and tidy. Despite all the effort, it is still impossible to eliminate the impact of mountain climbing on the natural environment. The birds sing and fly around the mountain huts unafraid of humans. But the truth behind this harmonious picture is that the birds are actually scavenging for food from human leftovers. Late at night, beside the Jiaming Lake, Sandbars are licking the food scraps left by humans for sodium supplement.
this unnatural phenomena, we must start with ourselves by disposing of leftovers and rubbish properly. Always remind our companions to help conserve this beautiful environment. Take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footprints after each visit. The rain finally stops and the bright moon emerges from behind the Bulaksan mountain. It's such a beautiful day, perfect for hiking. <laughs> After hours of walking, we can finally see our destination, the Sanja Mountain. As we reach the summit of Sanja Mountain, our hearts are contented with a spectacular view. We can see clearly the peak of Jade Mountain and the ripples of the southern central mountain range. There's even Green Island floating beyond the range upon the sea. If we show respect and listen carefully, we will be able to find the many wonderful things nature has to show us. Humans do not rule the world. We must learn to treat other creatures with respect and humility to keep the environment, as well as our civilization, sustainable. <laughs>